Hey guys, today we're looking at Equivocate and how you can use it to notch out nasty frequencies in guitar. This plugin was released about a month ago and it was for free. I'm sorry I didn't get a video out while it was free. I'm sure a lot of you guys already downloaded it during that free trial period. And uh, if not, it's currently at $99. It's a very useful plugin. And if you got it for free, congratulations, because this is, this is an awesome plugin. It's released by Newfangled Audio and Eventide. And it's a really interesting EQ. It does tone matching. It has up to 26 bands. Um, you can have really narrow bands, but when you're notching out things and even boosting a narrow band, it doesn't sound as bad as a, a typical EQ. They're doing something special with it and I'm liking it a lot. I didn't have a video out during that free period just because I didn't have a chance to use it really in depth. I've used it on a few sessions now the matching EQ mode was really helpful for a project I was working on uh, in mastering where one of the tracks didn't sound anything like the other ones, um, but after it sound, just sounded so much closer and uh, more cohesive for the album. So here's the website, currently on sale at the Eventide website, $99. Um, very interesting EQ, certainly worth checking out. Uh, give it a trial and see if you like it. All right, so back to Reaper. I've got this pop punk mix here. Uh, it's just kind of a rough mix. These rhythm guitars, these two tracks here, uh, they're going through a instance of Helix Native and they're using the, uh, let's see, got a Tube Screamer, got a Rectifier, Kali V30, different mics. And currently that EQ is turned off. So let's listen to it uh, full mix and then soloed. All right, and those tracks solo now. All right, now we're going to turn this plugin on. And this is the EQ I ended up with. And it's, uh, I mean, it looks pretty extreme, minus eight in this frequency band. Uh, what is that, 3600 hertz. And I've got another uh, probably about 4K, 4.6. Yeah, just lots of nasty little things that you don't really notice until you notch them out. So here's the after. So it's a pretty dramatic difference once you activate the plugin. Once you listen to it before and after, like those those frequencies really jump out, and uh, and they help it fit in the mix a lot better. One of the really cool things about this plugin is that it's got all these narrow bands, but you can solo each one. So uh, as we're listening to this, we can solo out this uh, this really bad one at 3600 hertz. Once you solo it, you can usually hear it uh, within the context of, of everything uh, a lot easier. It kind of just like, you know, points it out and then you start to hear it everywhere. Let's listen to it with a full band and the EQ active and I'll turn it on and off a couple times. Okay, we'll start with it off and I'll bring it in. So 
So the purpose of this EQ in the mix is just to smooth out those guitars, get rid of those nasty ringing frequencies, um, those those odd harmonics that just sound off and uh, kind of become irritating. It's a lot smoother with this. It only takes, I don't know, a minute or two to, to notch that out and have a, a smoother sound for the entire track. So, uh, so yeah, that's Equivocate. That's how I would use it on electric guitars to smooth them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.